Hey guys, Kristen here. Thanks for joining me today uh, to learn more about coding boot camps. I am rolling out a new video every Sunday, so uh, check back for more information. Today, I am covering the don'ts of a coding boot camp. So I'm going to be super, super duper, duper concise, which has been really hard to do. And what I need you to do is to comment below if there's anything you want me to elaborate in great detail in the future. So let's get started. First off, I'm gonna say don't compare apples, oranges, or apples, bananas, apples, pineapples, apples, kiwis. Like, coding boot camps are very different and it's honestly the people who run it can make a huge impact on it. And I know everyone's looking at the price tag, looking at the duration, but don't attend coding bootcamp if you're looking for an easy, quick career change because you'll be very disappointed. Don't explode at your teacher during class. Like, keep that in <laughs> until office hours. It's really hard being a teacher and a student in a coding bootcamp. Don't try to learn everything. Say you're learning JavaScript week two, don't go off into jQuery and React. There's really no, no success in learning every single programming language as a newbie. You need to have the foundation and to actually be good at a couple languages versus knowing all the languages. Now, let's see. Don't be too shy to ask questions in class. And also, don't be too shy to make friends with your classmates because they will be great resources. Don't leave before office hours. Definitely take advantage of that time with teachers. And don't avoid networking. And it's seriously the most important thing ever for job hunting. So go back to my older video called Three Secrets to Getting a Job After Coding Boot Camp and you'll understand why. Don't ignore the pre-course work. I, I learned this from experience. <laughs> Don't expect to absorb all the material just by sitting in class. You need to do your homework, you need to do the class work, like the in-class assignments, and you need to be serious about your group project at the end. Don't stay up too late doing homework or partying or whatever. Don't be a poor team player. And this is about your last group project. Don't be too hard on yourself. Don't think you're the only one who is struggling. Because trust me, you're not. <laughs> Don't expect your life to change from this course without putting in the work. Don't not do your homework. What I'm trying to say is do your homework, pretty much. Don't take this coding bootcamp course just because. You need that passion and that fire. Don't expect to be a legitimate web developer. You're gonna be super duper uber junior developer. Just saying. Don't stop coding when class is over. Job hunting, yes, it's important, but you need to stay fresh and be prepared for those code tests that they could possibly be giving you. Don't be picky about job interviews. If you get an interview, go even if you don't want the job. This is a great way to practice and see what it's like uh, to interview as a web developer. Don't end your connection with your coding school. If you're having trouble with job hunting, I guarantee it they'd be happy to introduce you to some people. Who okay guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I really hope you found all these helpful. Please let me know by commenting below, giving me a thumbs up, liking this. You can find me on social media. Add me on Facebook, Kristen League, or Twitter, Instagram. You know, I am, I'm around. So thanks again. And